afternoon everybody and welcome to the Potters Resorts 2022 World Indoor Bowls Championships live from Hopton on Sea. We have a great game as you can see coming up for you this afternoon. And let's have a little look at what we have for the rest of today. I'm now going to hand you over to the commentary team from the BBC. Thank you very much. Yes, the first of our players out for this next match holds 13 WBT titles in the International Open World Mixed Pairs, World Open Pairs competitions and is six times former winner of this event. Ranked number 15 in the world from Scotland, it's Alex Marshall, MBE.
for this match is a former Scottish and international Open title holder, as well as being a previous World Open pairs, mixed pairs and World Open singles champion. Ranked number one in the world from England, it's Nick Brett. Thank you, Rishi. Getting caught once before when the PA was actually open to all the players and being asked who's going to win was always dangerous. This time I avoided the question very sensibly. I tipped Alex against Les Gillard and Les Gillard put an exhibition on. So, uh, the players don't like me to tip them, I know that. But now I'm in a position to ask the question to John Price. Who's going to win? Well, I'm not going to do your dirty work for you, Dave. I'm going <laughs> to dodge this one as well. All I'll say, I want both players to bring their A game to the ring today. And if they do, this will be a marvellous game of bowls. That's what I said. said many times before the second game in the afternoon a lot of crowd movement coming in and out after the first game they will settle in it takes usually about 20 minutes or so but the players don't get much opportunity to practice one red uh, the gap is 18 inches they would have practiced earlier today but the the rink will have changed by then Atmospheric conditions have a big effect on the portable rink. No way around that. Still a good surface to play on, but it's a very challenging surface. needs to stop. It's a bit further than what I thought. Possibly he was playing just to push his own ball, John. Yeah, I think he was making sure he was reaching onto the green balls in front. Definitely didn't want to play that kind of weight. Need to loosen the arm a little bit at this stage, those players. It's gone off in the audience, I think. Alex stopped then. Well, you know, it's... Mobile phone, I believe. I, yeah, I think he might have just got the, the ball away in time. And it uh, looks like it's drawing the shot. So no damage done. <laughs> but, you know, really these things are, they're told many, many times, the audience to make sure Too their bad. phone is off. I think he just managed to release it. Well, next play in the run at. Down onto the green balls, more direct shot. Looking for a connection. Got the split and run. There it is, split and run. Gets a shot. I think we'll hear an announcement now from the umpire to about phones. Shot, Nick Brett. 
please make sure all phones are turned off, please. Yes, not down to silent, turn them off. It's about the only button that I know I'm absolutely safe with, John, and that is the one that actually switches the thing off. Otherwise, it's so complicated. I actually use one of these new phones, and I've just got a new phone, but uh, to get some Jack instructions on it. Meters. Anyway, we'll move on. Nick Brett. <laughs> As I said, it's always a bad game, isn't it? This one, there's so many disturbances. First 15, 20 minutes of the match. It's almost like he's trying to encourage this ball up because he's not sure about the weight. Now he knows. It's not there. One green. Alex always likes the traditional white trousers. I've always noticed that and when discussions were going on with, with players about what attire they would like to use. He always was going for the white trousers. Very traditional. Yeah, well, I've seen Alex obviously use the shorts outdoors. Yes, when he plays in Australia, obviously it's different because you're playing with their, their, your team colours. Of course, if we had constant noise, it would be different, but we don't. Yeah, I don't think it's a problem if you've got a big rowdy crowd, that's okay. It's probably because it goes very quiet at times, right? and then when somebody is coming in, Something goes on, you notice it more, don't you? Your, your yeah. first one so, was um, 18 inch gap. It's one of those things, and I think if you want to play in front of crowds, a big crowd, you've got to put up with it, you've got to get on with it, it's not going to change. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's uh, something that cannot be controlled. All these players will have played in the international series, and years ago, particularly, it used to be quite rowdy. Dave, would you oh. enjoy that? Yep, oh, I loved it, it was great. That'll just turn the green one even closer. Yes, yeah, so there were people shouting and all over the place when they, in those things, but you know, you get used to it. But this is more like in a snooker environment as opposed to a darts environment, you know. So uh, he's on a good line in, Nicky Brett, with this. Just needs to keep rolling. Yeah, he's played it. Two green. Similar line by Alex. He's got the run in his claws. As he said, it is just pulling up short. Well, it stayed up. If it doesn't drop, it's got a chance for second. It's now been propped up. Umpire, please. I'll call in the umpire for the measure. Mm, that's a close measure. It's definitely worth doing.
Alex taking some light refreshment. It's very warm out there, John, it really is. Two it's, shots, uh, Nick Brett. Two shots, Nick Brett. Jack length, 27 and a half metres. Listening to Alex's interview before the game, David, you know, he's, he's quite right. I've watched his games. He's done nothing wrong in recent years. He's got a few players on real hot streaks in the last three or four years and uh, he hasn't played badly. He's played very well. It's just sometimes that happens, doesn't it? Well, that, that can happen. He played against, so I referred to the Les Gillett game, and Les was absolutely outstanding. Now, he couldn't carry that form into the next game, but he was brilliant against Alex. I don't think anybody would have beaten Les on the day. I mean, that Alex played badly, he didn't. It was just one of those games. These things do happen, and sometimes you know, we're just going to keep plugging away and hope we get a break. John Green. Sit down, please, mate. Very slight gap. this yep got his own ball first but it was always going to be enough to open it up it's always a little boost to your confidence isn't it whenever you play your first running ball and you're bang on target yes these players they don't often miss Three feet. Uh, take the weight, you Paul. And then there's the adjustment to the draw. Quality. You hit and then you draw. Always is. You're trying to play across the line. Always difficult to pick this one out. Looking for a better second, but not going to make the trip. One red. I might have played it down the backhand, John, to be honest, because the forehand, you probably see more of the ball, but you know, the chances of getting the shot were minimal. A really good second he could have made on the backhand. Yeah, I think he was looking for a really good second. It was going to be difficult. Alex now looking for a similar ball to his last. No, he's close again. Nicely done, again. Two shots, Alex Marshall. Not a bad player. Oh, yeah. You know, he's coming on, isn't he? So let's go 2-3 of the <laughs> three ends. A bit more experience, he'll be grand. Alex Marshall is far, far too good a player ever to underestimate. Jack length, 28 and a half metres.
Coach Marshall has played 177 games. WBT won 119 and won seven titles. Bear in mind you have to usually play three or five games to win a title. It's, it's, uh, and most of those have been singles, six have been singles. We're talking about singles, we're not talking about pairs here or anything else because it's a lot more than that when you add in the pairs and things. But the Nicky Brett, well, he's played 110. One red. 176 and uh, four. WBT titles. Holding nicely, just a little drift at the end. And made it? No. Well, he's made it for the shot, but no one turns to get in centre rink, John. No, it's a good ball. He's just stayed alongside, and Nicky's quick to go for the runner. Bye, bye, Jack. Unlucky for him, he's pushed the red ball right up and close to the ditch. Yeah, he didn't want the contact on the back red. Without that, he had the shot, but the contact's just going to make it very difficult now. Debris to get past at the front. Once you get past that, it's all about the weight. And this is good. This is really good. And I played that well. Nick on the other side now. Give him a big swing off that board in. Yeah, this is just about on the limit. After a running ball. Wow. One shot, neck breath. Set score to Great play four, for both four. players. They're just making it. And <laughs> I started to clap that way before. It was arriving under the head. I knew that was a good one. Jack Lake, 27 and a half metres. Between these two players, it's played five times, and Nick Brett's won three. It's always going to be a, a good game. One red. Good. Nice the ball. He's definitely finding the range, isn't he? The nearest one is. The nearest one is. 
20 inches short of your eye. Staying with the forehand here, Nick. Beat his own green ball. Side your Iris Marshall. Didn't want to leave a catch, widen it. May count. May do. My temp. They're going to play in a bit of weight here. No reason why not. <laughs> two red. Well, it's two red at the moment. That might make a difference. It might force him into the draw, Dave. Alex has got a bowl to come as well. So we I think, think that's where the problem is. That um, well, oh. he's decided he's played it. It's just an aggressive player, close to the jack. Got the gap. Oh, just got nice. the back bowl away. Interesting to play it off the forehand. I thought he might have played it off the back, but uh, obviously favours the forehand. Crowd come well back in now that they're settled down. The easy action, Alex Marshall hasn't changed over the years. It's always been super smooth. Good. Two shots, Alex Marshall. <laughs> Set score, 4 4 after 5 ends. Well, I thought Alex Marshall had made it with the last one, just dropped away. Sometimes it would nearly make a case for wearing earplugs. Just to keep out of external noises, John. Now we have players who use earbuds and listen to music sometimes. Didn't bother him too much. Played a perfect bowl there, Nick. The last bowl is seven inches short of Jack and the gap is two and a half inches. Green. Well, I nearly made the gap between the two balls then. Just fell out. Good delivery. Oh, 
Williams made it. He made it for two as well. Yeah, small adjustment on the weight again there to, right. to Jack. Your runner from Nicky, I think he'd be into this. His forehand again. Once again, he's in the area. Jack's gone, has it? Nope, the ball has, but it's left one of Alex's in. Yeah, still one red. Doesn't miss many targets, does he? No, the forehand runner, very strong shot for Nick. What's going on? That's a good wee test. <laughs> Probably with Alex jump. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. One round. He was only walking back. Oh, very good. I love that. Just switch it off for the time being while Alex plays his ball. Try and get the shot clock reset. Wonders of modern technology. Oh, absolutely. Just occasionally, it can go wrong. Good Gen again. Gently. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah, he played that so well. I think that's what he was looking for in the, a previous ball that he just ran three through. Right. From one to three in one ball. Yeah, excellent delivery. Just turns the jack through three shots. Doesn't leave an easy draw here nope. for Nick Brett. This is, this is difficult. Draw after the running ball, never easy. Needs to get past the front one. Oh, he had to wait. He needed a clear road, but the weight was there. But it hasn't changed, I don't think. Three shots, Alex Marshall. He yeah, had the weight. He's just inside the line. He did a thinner rub off that. I think we have the, the shot clock back in action again. By the looks of it. For those who like it. Jack length, 29 and a half metres. Sad news if you don't, because it's there and it's running up. Oh, two ends of nine sets, three end tie break as usual in the early rounds until we get to the final. I know a lot of people know that, but uh, a lot of people tune in. They don't know what the number of ends are. Just pass it, Jack. Oh, it's behind. Alex knows he can afford to reach it. Turn the jack. What a good line again. Too far away. Depends who gets that big bend at the end. So his weight was lovely. Just outside it. He was just trying to get up to his own ball with that because by dropping it short, it's um, giving Alex an opportunity to play just a little bit more to it. He's inside the line, he can use that last green ball.
Hard to get off that high line, but it's trying its best. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Yeah, get it surrounded. Point <laughs> green. Yes. Stops right on the green. Nicky needs a good bowl here. That green is very vulnerable. I, I think he just has to take a risk and try and get into it. That's all. Try and get into Alex's last ball. If he gets to his own or just past it, it'll also be very useful. He's past the jack anyway, so there's some value in that. Yeah, that's a good ball there. Good receiver. Alex has to decide what sort of weight he wants to play to this. A little punch shot really, isn't it? Bread onto green, punch the green ball away. Or he could just draw it again, dead weight. Don't think you go too yeah. quick, Dave. That, that's what you're really saying, John, or that little punch shot. The yeah. only thing about playing that is whatever's left after the ball stops, there's going to be two green behind it. Yeah, that is the disadvantage. Time it may leave Nicky a shot. Alex has four time extra minutes. And that's, that's where the problem is. But, you know, it, the alternative, you might think about playing this, is just to run the jack all the way through. <coughs> that takes away all the danger. Only thing is, you're not really quite sure where you're going to finish. Well, it's full handy is to draw. So Jesse's not too worried about the shot here. Yeah, he's on a very wide line. Just covering the back position, I think. Tactical bow. Very tactical bow, because you might have been thinking Nicky was going to play down and turn the jack, but... As you say, Dave, I think that was in his mind what you just said about leaving Nicky an opportunity. Bit of a chess match there. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's what, that's what we like. Two very experienced players. There's a lot of uh, tactical knowledge in the, their minds. just to drop inside his own ball. He has to be careful with Jack a little bit. Mm, well, that's good. He made one and possibly two. There's one out. Yeah, ambitious to try, to try and move the Jack. He wasn't too sure about it. <laughs> I don't think that's what he was playing for. Just two away with it, really. Could have gone wrong. Very much so. Yeah. Bit of a tape on this. Just want to clear all the debris out of the way, and you can't do it unless you ask permission of the players. So that's what the umpire was doing. Be a little bit of chat between the two guys and know each other well enough over the years for that. A lot of respect out there. Two shots, take breath. Important end for Nick Brett to score. Close it down to one shot. Jack length, 27 metres. Good game. Um, it's in the afternoon. Rink has a tendency to change a little bit in the second set. That's what a lot of the players have been saying. But the quality in this first set has been absolutely top drawer. Yeah, two guys have settled well, playing good bowls.
Oh, not with these two. Tom Green. There's Nicky's ball in relation to Jack High, Mike. It is just slightly past, but a quarter of an inch. The gap between the two balls? The gap between the two balls, three inches. Three inches is enough to flick his own ball out of the head. Mike Davis had said one inch, the chances were Alex could afford to arrive at this. Oh, he's in the area again, just sliding past, but a good ball between the two green. Yeah, very good there. Not wasting many balls, I think that's the key to this match. Oh, you can't afford to, can you? He's playing nose, if he has a poor end, he'll be punished. Oh, there's a lot of banging and getting on going on out there. It's just um, we think it's around the back of the stand. And that's another good ball. Another receiver. Match the red one. Constant noise is the solution, really, John, isn't it? Um, it was at an event a long, long time ago, and there was a concert on, and uh, there were sound checks and everything else was going on. It was a few hundred yards away, but it was still quite loud. We quite enjoyed it, actually. It was uh, highly entertaining. It was Whitney Houston. So there you go. A few years back, Dave. Eh? Yeah, absolutely. Go for this. Oh, Very he close. Jack. Oh, he didn't want the jack first. One green. One the green. In the days of those exotic trips down to Australia. Mm. Well, it's not easy here for Nick Brett now. He's going to be a little bit careful. Holds the one. I'm not really sure if this is wise to go anywhere near this. I would put, looking at it, safer on the forehand side of draw, it Dave, just drop onto the red ball on dead weight. He's got a back position yeah. there. The only problem with that is if he hits a, the green ball, the jack comes out of yeah. the open. So, it's just been a little a disturbances for the guys. Worry is he don't want to get too close and give Alex a, a catch. No, I know. He's got a shot on otherwise, but uh, there's a plant on, you see, for Alex. There is. There is, and I don't think there's much Nick can do about that. The sweller Alex is prepared to take the risk now. The, the, you know, the shot is, if the perfect bowl is that plant on the second red bowl onto the green, should move, move the green without the jack moving. Yeah, and, and that's fine, John, if he hits that side of it. But if he gets the front bowl yeah, and the jack that moves, yeah. then you're looking at moving the jack back to here. Yeah. And you know, obviously that's going to bring in the other uh, the other shots, and that's just not clever, it no. really isn't. So he has to be a little bit careful here because those two green balls will, Time without doubt. Um, Alex has three times remaining. You know, they'll, they'll they'll come into play, and this one here in particular is a key ball. Well, that one is absolutely essential um, for the safety of Nick Brett. Just wondering whether you'll just reach it over the draw rather than play too much weight at it, Dave, just to try and just very light punch on it, lift it out. Either that or just drop the red one. If he drops the red one, it's possible that it will stay on the jack. I don't think you play a lot of weight. No, I don't think you're going to risk it. Oh, what do we know? There he goes. Well, he's brave. He's playing it. If he gets it right, it's perfect. He's underneath, though, I think. Doesn't want that one. Oh, my goodness me. That jack only had to move. You know, oh, exactly, wow. Nick was saying. Yeah. Ooh. What's yeah. up, Nick Brett? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He realised right he was smile. inside the line, and uh, Alex put his hand over his heart. He was a bit worried about that one. Yeah. Score seven, seven after eight in. Good shot to play. I mean, he, he was willing to play it, brave to play it. It's only a good shot to play, man, if you get it. Yeah, true, but he... <laughs> Very close to it, but he had really the confidence to do it, Dave. Oh, oh he realised that it, they nearly picked up three shots there. 
uh, the old heart. Take your time now, Alex. Getting a bit older. <laughs> I'll let you tell him that. <laughs> good. Good end of bowls. Yes, yes. Good set to win. Very good set Adelaide, to win. Six and a half meters. years between these two players in age and it's 54 and Nick 44. Mr. It's got a front toucher. There's only one place to be, and that is behind it. Whether it be one inch or whether it be a meter, doesn't make any difference. You just have to get behind. And Nick is running for cover immediately. He knows that's a great first bowl. I just wonder, will Alex just keep drawing or risk a runner early? Interested, but I think he's under. Oh, just, they just fancy that on the way down. It looked good for a long time that day. Yep, it did. Um, the thing is, he needs it on on the edge, either edge. Doesn't matter, inside or outside. As long as he gets it thin enough. Solid ball on the jack. Oh, it's going into a ditch, and the ball will follow it. You know, trying to get inside that red back bow. Yeah, but not too close. Oh, he's wide oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. You didn't want that, man. You really did not want that. I think the angle's good enough to get the both bowls here, John. On the forehand in particular. Close. Yep. Yeah, it's done it. Yeah, that's it's good. And that was the problem with Nick putting that ball there. That was a mistake. And uh, that's opened the door now. That's not a bad situation. I know Nick will draw close, but Alex has given himself a chance here. Yeah, had to be played. He played it well. That ball shoot out, really. Yep, that's what it comes down to. Gonna have a good bowl, but it's beatable. Well, oh, that's beatable, and I think Alex will just go down on the draw, do his best to get close. Backhand or forehand's available both sides. Backhand's a bit more open. Yeah, he's been leading off the backhand, so he may be tempted to play that side of the green. He was down to eight seconds, and again, you know, it doesn't take much. Alex has two time experience. An important bowl to win a set, so people don't realize it sometimes.
Great play. Nick would have expected it, John. Yeah, but, but still, still got to do it. Still then had to be played. Yeah, if you wanted one man to play a ball to save your life, that's the man you want to play it, isn't it, Alex Marshall? I've seen him do it so often. Oh, he's, he's the man for the big ball, isn't he? It's an open draw, but it's still got to be done, and the pressure of losing the set if you miss. A little bit of space, Jack but he just plays good line, good weight. And that really all came down to Nick's ball that he dropped just short of Jack High. It shouldn't have been anywhere near that. And uh, that opened up the opportunity, so he, he'll know himself that he offered Alex the opportunity. Alex still had to play two big balls, don't get me wrong, but it just made it that bit easier. Yeah, I think you're right that if he could play one bowl again, it's that third bowl on that end, he wouldn't have gone near it. Here, blow for blow. Much time here. You'll have to have a go at this, surely. Hit the inch and a half gap. Yeah, he knows he'd be very unlucky if he hits a green ball, even on a on an edge. The jack won't move. It should move. If he gets it absolutely solid, of course. Oh, goodness me, that was narrow to go through there. He's gone across to look at that gap and thinking, my goodness me. Oh, that's another cover ball going in line two, two at the back. This is awkward, Alex. I'm really not sure if it's worth hitting this. Be very unlucky to be worse off. Because if he hits it, you'd think that the, the two green balls would hit the red ball and punch it through, John. Trouble is, he hasn't got much else on, really, is he? No. It's a very difficult draw. Oh, he's playing a little tap shot, and that is to tap the green ball onto the jack to move it out sideways. And this is very hard. Yeah. <laughs> two shots, Nick Brett. Well, he read the head that he could be worse off, so more or less accepted that he was going to lose a double. Zero two after one in. Well, we're open for questions as always. And uh, Steve, e, what's the minimum, maximum weight and size of bowls for indoors? Well, it's first of all, it's the same indoors and outdoors. It doesn't matter. What are we down to now, John, in terms of the size? Are we down to double O or triple O? Yeah, I think there are some triple O's, I believe, but double O it used to be, smaller size. Most players these days tend to use, David, they've gone down in size. The old sixes and sevens don't, are not there, even the size fives. Most uh, male players tend to use a four or a three, and I think most female players tend to be three, two, something like that, yep. one maybe. 
So the big sizes are not used very often now. No, I think there's a special order if you want one of the yeah. larger sizes, but they are very expensive. Don't see, see them very often. I used to play a long time ago with size six. Yeah, um, I know a lot of players in the, the days when I started, the older players would be on size seven, the old five and an eighth, if you remember, David. Oh, yes. Big yes. bombers and... Uh, David Brand special. Yeah, you don't see many of those now. But um, you can get half sizes as well, Coach David. Yes, absolutely. Uh, do the players bring their own balls supplied by tournament what organizers? Well, they do sometimes, here, to be Michael fair. Farm, is it? That's 14 Stephen inches Booth short of and, um, A lot of top players have got their own red balls, their own green balls. But there's a whole uh, number of sets, a whole range of balls available by World Balls Tour here at the venue. And you can play with those. Sometimes players um, are happy to for others to use their balls as well. Yeah, it's been known for players to, to borrow off other players. I think if you come with your own red and green set, you're not too fast. There are pool balls here that you could try as well. It's ideal normally if you can come with your own balls, David. Yeah, and Nicky just looking for the jack here. Very close out, getting it. Oh, there's two gaps and he found one of them. Alex found a gap before as well, so <laughs> can happen. It's uh, gaps are made for bowls. here is good. I'm feeling Alex was actually trying to turn the jack with that one. The weight was good for it. I think he would have quite liked to have taken that shot away from Nick by turning the jack into his own back bowl. I just need to see if he goes to the same weight again. Yes, he Danger, he's got to watch, he doesn't get the jack and then deflect off one of the balls out of the rink. Gonna draw now, I thought he might have to. Well, he's getting that one, but it's only the one shot in it anyway. But Alex has got a shot here if he wants to play it. Uh, just draw another one for two. And if he does happen to be a bit heavy, he could actually move the jack directly back. With a little bit of risk in playing it as a deliberate shot, John, because he could edge the jack across to the green. Yeah, I think if he draw in down then, trying to make another one, if he does a little touch, he might make a third. Oh, down to one second, my goodness. Trying to get this back. Just over it. Weight was good, but just over it. One shot, Alex Marshall. Yeah. Well, I think he sort of sounded like he was tempted with the other shot, but in a game so like this, one, two, two you don't want to be giving the shot away. One 
beautiful balls, no doubt about that. Really top quality stuff. Going early with a runner, yeah. Starting to slip away. He's got one of them. Yeah. Well, they're both confident in their running ability, their their speed balls. Playing well. Yeah, he's certainly, certainly good, playing a strong game. Yep, go again because that plant is right into it as well. Ball on the ball, on the jack. Oh, is it going under? Oh. Only just. Always just under it. Good if you could just change this a little, Alex. He'd, ideally, he'd like to make it more difficult for Nicky. Difficult enough as it is, but uh, down there on the backhand to turn his ball down. Yes, it would take that uh, that plant away. He's not far away again. Well, that's okay there. And that's a handy ball. And he's asking a few questions here, Alex, and it's not an easy strike to get out of. No, it's not. The uh, back position, the way it sits at this moment in time, Nick's only got time one ball. ball in there. Nick, he has two time mates remaining. So, be very unlucky, really, to take his own ball out without doing damage. That's why he's going again. Quicker. Gone quicker this time. Oh, He's got a I can't believe off it. The side. What a result! Uh, wow! Hit the target, but it's good result for it to land where it has. Oh, the reaction from Nick Brett was, oh, that was a hairy one. Set score one three after three ends. Always oh. possible it was going that direction. He had worked it out that he, if it went out the side, he was going to get the shot. Alex Marshall did everything right there <laughs> in that end and still lost the shot. A classic end, though, of tactical play. And and a half wonderful drawing. short players ask that question because if the ball's five six inches short they won't really want to play it on that side the same side but if it's uh, close to being level with the jack on green and they're happy enough to play it it's a good second shot now Used to call it Jack High, didn't they, John? They changed it. I don't know, did they ever change it back from Jack Level? I'm not sure. They went to Jack Level, but we've always said Jack High, haven't we? Yes, Jack Level is a silly term. But. Uh, everybody uses Jack High. Too green. The last ball touching, mate? No, no, it was a, an eight minute gap. Touch or not. <laughs> <laughs> Three balls to start with again. Maybe tempted to have a run at this. And 
move it, open it up. He's very close. He gets back to the Oops, jack. The he jack. gets the jack clean. Oh, oh yes. he's got it. Oh, where's it going? Well, it's off the rink. It'll run the respot, but that's plenty of room for both players. The red bull in the ditch is live because it touched the jack. Yeah, pops a pops a red marker. Uh, Mike Davis on the bank. Show where the red bull is. Jack on the respot and move the mat. Oh, there's a process to go through and a procedure. And there's always somebody out there watching to make sure that's completed properly. Oh, oh very close. On the edge. He's very close. Oh, so he was surfing. He was leaning then. He was. Oh. I thought he'd lost that. I'll be honest with you. I really did. My goodness. Wow. That was, that was brinksmanship. Alex has lost a ball on this forehand before, going too wide. Simply because of where the jack was placed at the time. He plays a strong bias ball. <laughs> he's inside, Nicky's. Looks like he's around it though. Yeah, he's okay. Going the shot with this. Oh, it's a beauty. What a ball. <laughs> Way out again, Nick. Yep, he has to push it out because of the swing, he, the swing on the ball. But uh, he, this needs to, to make the running. That was the problem. First one I understood, John. Second one, well, you know, you always expect someone like Nick to put the extra weight on it. on the front edge of the mat to hold the ball up as long as possible. <laughs> Looks okay. You know, I think it's very, very similar line. Yeah. No mistake. <laughs> That's the problem. Such so like Alex three Marshall is that if you miss, the chances are you're going to uh, be punished for it. There's Catherine Riddle having a little uh, drink of a soft drink or a coffee. Jack length, 28 and a half metres. Job done today. Soft drink, Dave. You think she'd be on the, the hard stuff now? Just just won a trophy. Well, that's uh, that's early in the day, John. Okay. Early in the day. Side of the jack. Goals oh, coming away from it. Weight's good, just a hair on the line the next time. Chalk spray mark, mark going on the bowl there. Yeah, so Alex Marshall's been very consistent in this match. Oh, well, that's going to turn it over. That's not going to help. Well, a drop back actually, it's not too bad. The target's still there if he wants to play the running ball. Both played very well, but Alex has just got for me anyway the edge on the drawing shots, Dave, at the moment. Yes. He's drawing a bit more consistent. 
lot in it, but he's uh, put a lot of close balls in. Gently, gently, he doesn't want the jack with this. Oh, well, no, he's 9 2. But it's moved it closer to the green ball and it's widened the target. Yeah, there's the, the wry smile. He knows it's a good ball, but it's a real invitation. Oh, what yeah. a clean. That, that's yeah. why it wasn't uh, ideal because against a player like Nick, he's just going to drive the track. He's going to bend it. And this time he's pretty close to it. Yeah, I got it right down the middle and he's got a little kiss on the way through. Got him pretty close to it. It's not beatable in the ditch, but it's, it's still going to be difficult. It's beatable, but you don't really want to flirt too close to it because I think it's too green. You want to put a good second in, John, and well, Nick's got another ball to come. You don't want to lose a cheap three. He's played this really well. That's a great ball. And still won the green, but that's a really good second shot. I wonder will Nick arrive at this with just enough weight to punch it in, John, and stay for three. Even if he runs off the ball, he still gets a two. Yeah, but that's right. It's a shot to nothing, if you like, David, isn't it? You know, if he misses, he still probably well, gets the one. Yeah, the danger of drawing it is you could just tap that ball and lose the shot. He's on the draw line. See how he finishes. He passes it. Will he oh. stop? Will he stop? Oh. <laughs> Great effort, but no cigar What's on that one. Friend? No, he nearly made it. I mean, he was coming. He just needed it to break a little earlier, and there it goes. Down. Score 3-4 <laughs> after five minutes. Yeah, Alex said just an inch, Nick, just an inch. I think Nick will be very happy though in that end. He got a single in a head that was not looking too good for him for a while. No, it's a big uh, third ball, wasn't it? Big strike. He's having to play a few of them. Jack Lake, 26 and a half metres. What I like about this game is you're getting really good draw balls and then there's the shot play. Alex didn't look too happy with this one. I must know it's not reaching. Yeah, we realise that. One of those green balls. Oh, he's just a bit over it. But that's tightened down the target on the forehand, but I should probably not be playing that. I think he'll still try to draw this. This front ball is a bit of a problem for the, the running shot.
trotting after this. He fancied it when he let it go. Needs to stop though. Yep. Just run on a touch. Picking out the line with the yeah, two balls. Yes, it's the first end in fairness that he hasn't really at least pinned one or two balls on the jack, Dave. You know, he's been throwing really well. So a chance for Nick here now to put some more pressure on. backhand to try and close this out I think. Yep, if he can get to the jack and turn it, it's good. If he's just over the weight, he'll hold on to the red balls. Big effort and just a turn on the jack. It's a good ball anyway. Yes, it's another shot and a good ball, but you can see the weight he played. He was after the jack. I think Alex is probably just going to have to go for the draw here and it's a very narrow target on the running side on the forehand. Yeah, really it's tight. That, it's that short red is causing the problems if you're hitting, isn't it, Dave? I think he'll stick with the draw. He's not far away. Line is good. It's just a couple of feet of weight. Yeah. This looks better. Oh, yes. Oh, what a ball. Gently, gently. Yep, what a ball. Great shot. Three against, which at this stage in the set would have been absolutely crucial to Nick Brett. Yeah, very good there. I mean, under pressure, three down, as you said, David. Very important ball, and he comes up with that. Nick Brett would have been 7-3 in front and off and running. Still has that ability to play that big ball. Until that leaves him, he'll Jack always be one of the best. Both bowling. Good stuff again. Getting some great games here, Dave. Oh, we've had some classics over the last while, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> Gotta run. Run for the petrol there. Line in. Yes, there's always the thing about balls, and you're not going to get good games every single time throughout the two weeks of a world championship but you're going to get some really good stuff and uh, we've been very fortunate we've had some fantastic matches on the overcorrection, but a useful ball. Chance for Alex to just turn this jack around the corner. second shot still a chance here for Alex Marshall just to draw the jack any movement chance of making a three out of it
this also looks like it's just struggling. Came a long way to struggle oh, back. Oh yeah, just dropped away, but it stayed up in its end, and Alex knew that. It was another shot. N7, of course, the crucial end of a 9N set. We always say that. But one shot either player, John's not a disaster. Looking at it, close, will he get back to the jack? Oh. So close, so close. Great effort. Four, five, four after seven Give it every opportunity, didn't he, just to get back and a slice on the jack without getting a solid. Yeah, he had to reach for that one, he was making a big effort. Nick Brett's still in touch to win the set that he has to win actually to go into the three end tie break. Alex Marshall having won the first set, eight shots to seven. Alex would be very happy just to uh, share a couple of singles here. Yeah, this is a very important end now, Dave. a close game that you wouldn't want to go to the last end if you're Nick chasing a two or a three. Beaten already, but <coughs> oh, what's this coming whizzing back into the jack? Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, we're yeah. getting it all here, aren't we? Yeah, no, great bowl again. Bowl for bowl. For length jack, the accuracy is frightening. <coughs> it is, it's hard to describe just how difficult uh, bowls can be. It's a very enjoyable sport, but... It's worth having a little go at it at your local club just to see what it's like. But it's like any target sport, John. You want to be good at it, don't you? Oh, he's running for cover. He's just right out to the edge. He's up to oh, a well in control. wide respot position. Yeah, well in control on that on the respot. Look at the respot. That's a bright white spot. He's just landed the side. You cannot see that from the mat. And that's what he was aiming for. It's been a real match for the connoisseur, this one. side of the jack as soon as he went inside the jack it wasn't happening but that's okay for him yes he's opened it up it's loosened it two you'll take that couldn't get the shot off it he's just wanted to disturb it he's moved it away and two seconds yeah alex is going to have to draw this he needs another bowl in but he hasn't got back position so no where he, no matter where he puts it he knows that Nick will have a chance to run the jack into the ditch for two or three. Oh wow, look at this. 
Look at this. Oh, that's a big, big, massive help. Uh, he couldn't have played that much better, really. Takes that shot away a little bit for, from Nick. Two red. Well, you know, Nick was in heaps of trouble with just that one down. Now he's in double heaps of trouble. Got to run for the two balls, I think. Has to. Has to do that. Even if it goes out on the respot, he's only one down. Try in. Let's try in. Oh, he's got a that shot is a horrible there. result. I think that's the match over. That's three now. It looks like three. Yeah, it's a shocking result for him. That he's is a target. horrible result. I think it's three shots. Yep, match is over. It had to be played. If he got the jack out onto the respot and the other goals moved, John, it was only one and he was still in contention. But and a very strange finish to an incredible game. It looked to us all the way that we're going for a, a tie break, three ends, but tremendous bowling. Yeah, fantastic bowling. Alex Marshall outstanding. Nicky Brett played well, didn't do anything wrong. Uh, but, you know, we thought we were a tie break and it was brilliant stuff. Well, I did think that Alex Marshall looked very comfortable coming into this game. And, and we look at the scoreline, 8-7, 8-4, well that's down to the three in the last end where Nick had to go for something. Probably didn't want to, but he was forced into it. Well, we had a feast of bowling in this match. and It's what you expect, double singles champion, six times singles champion. Alex Marshall on top form on the draw, pulling jacks. Touching things, Nick Brett doing exactly the same thing with a little controlled weight. And Alex Marshall playing a beauty to win the first set. That was seven all, last ball, and he drew the shot. But Nick Brett, not to be put off, bangs two in in the first end of the next set. And then in the end, he needed to get the jack or the two balls out. And it just pushed the jack the wrong way, lost the three, lost the second set, 8-4. And the match goes to Alex Marshall, but the end's won, well, 9 and 8, that shows you how things were, were tight. Total shot scored, that's really down to that three in the last end, 16-11. Toucher's level, and the jack knife of both players were playing absolutely brilliant balls. But Alex Marshall, I just had a feeling Alex Marshall was looking good this year, and he's just proven that point. Yes, Alex Marshall is through to the quarterfinals. Congratulations, well played. Corky said that uh, in commentary, he felt like you came into this tournament playing well, you're looking good, and that manifested itself today. Is that how you feel? Yeah, definitely. You know, I've probably, probably played more bowls this year than what I've played in the last two years, you know, with COVID, but uh, I certainly played very well today. Although Nicky, I don't think he was at his best, but certainly played a lot of great running shots. But yeah, very, very happy with my performance. We spoke before this match when we were chatting away about building up to this one that you love being back here. Just describe the feeling as you walk through the door at Potters and you set yourself up for another singles event in particular, how you, how you approach it. Yeah, I've always said it's my second home. I just love coming here. There's just so many things to do and I feel so relaxed about the whole complex. It's, you know, five star. It's probably one of the best resorts in the whole of the UK, to be honest. So thanks to Potters Leisure for that. But yeah, I just feel it easier and I come on in the rink and I just love the portable rank, you know, I just love the four hands, although the in-between shots are very difficult to play, but yeah, I just feel at home. Is it simply a case of the fact that you know it so well, or it's this particular rink suits what you do better than anywhere else? Yeah, I think I do know it so well. I've always been coming here for the best part of 20 years, but at the same time, I think this year, it's been, you know, the characteristics of the rink have been quite difficult, and I think everybody has struggled at times to, to find the line in length, but... Today, you know, I caught everything line line, so yeah, very happy. Yeah, uh, and and in terms of progressing through the tournament, you know better than anyone else the type of performance you have to put through through the whole championship, not just per match. Do you feel that you build and there's more to come as we keep going? Well, normally I'm always a slow starter, but last year I thought I played great. Played James Rippey, played great. Played Catherine, never done too much wrong. I could have knocked her on the top of the head, to be honest. But uh, but yeah, <laughs> Catherine's a magnificent player, as I've said before. But yeah. I think 
normally I always start to play from quarterfinals onwards, but uh, certainly if I can play like that for the rest of the event, you know, every game's going to be hard, but I'll be, I'll be more than happy. Yeah, you said before in the interview, we heard you use the word saying you're, you're feeling good, and I said the word ominous uh, when Alex Marshall is feeling good. So hopefully that feeling continues. Congratulations, Alex Marshall Thank is through. Thanks. Well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for for this afternoon. Join us later on for some more world top class bowls. Until then, it's bye-bye for now.